All right, we're going to try this again. Let me erase this stuff. I had a recording error the last time I tried. So, this is from RadioPD.org, fantastic site. I love them. They have um, great learning experiences and classes you can take. So anyway, start with the A for airway. And here is the trachea coming down here. You can see, it looks like this is a carina right there. It looks like he maybe shifted a little bit or just twisted because you can see the clavicles up here are off a little bit. So he's probably just turned. And that's what makes the trachea move over and the heart move over a little bit. So I wouldn't call that a shift. B for bones, uh, clavicles look good. And I looked down this line here for the ribs initially and I don't see anything on either side. Usually you can see, kind of sticks out like a sore thumb if there's a fracture. And then I check out the posterior ribs, which are really difficult to see fractures on chest x-ray. This is the anterior ribs, the curved here. And I really don't see much there in the ribs. Let me get rid of some of this blue. <clears throat> Okay, C for cardiac silhouettes, and here's a silhouette coming down here. And I don't see much going on there. <clears throat> D for diaphragms. Right diaphragm looks fine. Left diaphragm looks kind of funky, though. You can trace it here. But you can see how lucent this is. See all this lucency in here? Let me get rid of this. So you can see all this lucency in here. And you can see how deep this goes down here as well. <clears throat> and you can actually see the border of the heart through there, which you should not be able to see. This should all be blocked by the diaphragm and stomach. And that, this is a, a particular sign called the deep sulcus sign. That's deep sulcus. And it happens in a supine chest x-ray, and it's indicative of a pneumothorax. So this patient has a pneumothorax, and um, most assuredly will need a chest tube because it looks like it's a pretty good size one. Um, a CT would really show definitively how big it is. But besides the deep sulcus sign, let me erase this so we can see now. It has some tubes and lines here we need to talk about. So you can see <clears throat> has a couple central lines. Here's one coming down here. The tip ends right there. So the crine is way down here. So that needs to be advanced uh, quite a bit. It should end up being, you know, at the crine or a centimeter below the crina. And then here's one here that comes, looks like it probably stops right here. And again, this one especially needs to be advanced to where it comes down like this because where it is there it could be a, um, up against the wall and much higher risk for uh, perforation there. So both of these need to be advanced a bit I think. And get the blue back up here. Looks like we have an intratracheal tube coming down here. Looks like it ends right about there which is fine. Again this is carina right here. So it looks like about four or five centimeters above, which is a good position for the ET tube. All right, that's the end for this chest X-ray, and I'll get the other one up and going um, maybe tomorrow, maybe later on tonight. I've been hammered in the ER today. But I hope you enjoyed it, and um, we'll see you at the next one.